Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 24 of the Mindful Morning Challenge. I want to know if you are new, if you're just joining, or you've been here since day one, how are you doing? I heard from someone yesterday that they were finally able to do an up upward facing dog and I loved it and because I remember the first day I did a chaturanga <laughs> strongly successfully you know and how strong it made me feel and that's exactly the benefits of doing this right yoga is a practice yoga is a practice and you're gonna notice with practice even just 10 minutes even less every single day how your body is getting stronger how the moves are getting easier how you're flowing so much better so with that said let's get into it go ahead on your mat or any soft surface Standing at the top of your mat, go ahead and reach your arms up, plant your feet into the mat. Go ahead, clasp your palms together, reach up, look up, getting that full body stretch right here, waking up every muscle of your body. And exhale, fold forward. In your forward fold, come about Feet hip width distance. Ooh, can't talk this morning. Hip width distance um, apart. And you can bend your legs and rest your chest on your thighs or straighten them. So keeping at least a micro bend and just flowing from side to side, letting your entire upper body hang here. And today the theme is our breath, using our breath. How we can use our breath to wake ourselves up, use our breath to relax ourselves. And if you've been here throughout the challenge, you know we are breathing through every movement. So really being aware of that with every move today. Go ahead, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Excuse me, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up, look up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Right, we call it a yoga flow because that's exactly what you're doing. You're flowing with your breath. Every movement should be fluid. You're continuously moving just like you're continuously breathing, always being aware to not holding your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, rise up, look up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. You can always go down to your knees or high to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Go ahead, reach your left foot forward. Ooh, lots of cracks in my hips today. Stack your hips, bringing your left hip on top of your right your ankle to your bum and go ahead and twist in one direction and the other gaze is looking underneath your left armpit pushing your hands into the mat grounding your feet into the mat so you can lift your knee even one inch higher and release go ahead do that on the right side now right leg goes up stacking over your left hip Bending your knee, twisting your ankle one direction, grounding into your hands and feet, and the other direction with your ankle, and release. Go ahead, bring that left leg back up, and we'll come into warrior one. Warrior one, reaching up, bending into that front leg, and exhale, warrior two. Reverse your palm, inhale, reach back. Exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, 
downward facing dog. Warrior run, right side. Let's go. Inhale to rise. Exhale to open up. Warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, chaturanga high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Going into a tabletop position. We'll end with just some quick core work, some balance work. Go ahead, bring your right arm forward, left leg out. And just for a second, imagine that someone's pulling them, reaching them as far as you can. And exhale, squeeze together. One, two, three. Remember, you're not holding that breath. Can you be as fluid with that breath, even in a more challenging, quicker paced pose? Let's go. I lost count. I'm assuming that's 10. <laughs> let's go to the next side. Left arm, right leg. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Go ahead into child's pose for just a minute. Just stretching out your body. And either staying there to close off or coming to a seated position. And focusing back on your breath here. I want you to try on a new breath. This is a very relaxing breath. You can use it throughout your day. It literally signals to your nervous system to relax because of the double inhale. So we'll go ahead, take an inhale through your nose, then top it up. So two inhales and then exhale out your mouth. That's right, try to make your exhale even longer. Another time, inhale. Top it up, exhale, that's it. Doing that again on your own pace, inhale, top it up, exhale. Just doing that a few more times now and maybe already noticing after just a few breaths how it relaxes your mind, your body, how easy it can be to actually relax your mind and body using your breath as a tool coming back to your body getting out of your head using it to presence yourself come back to this peaceful present moment that's it that is always available to you and I invite you to try that throughout your day. Maybe when you're feeling a little scattered, a little overwhelmed, just take even 10 seconds to take a breath and just center yourself, come back to this clarity, this calm, and then moving forward. Beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow.